When we saw him underneath the van, he had dreadlocks and his hair was so long, you could barely tell which side was his face. You could kind of see his nose and he literally looked like he could just freeze to the pavement. Hey, we're gonna help you, okay? Let me put this on you. Let me get you out of here, okay? Come on, you're gonna have to come on. Come on. was a little bit uncooperative and the whole idea is just to try to get a leash around him and as carefully as you can tug a little bit to get him out. Come on buddy. Come on. <laughs> wrapped him up in a towel, and once we got him back, our vet started working on him. There you go, it's okay. Yeah, see, it's gonna be warm now. We had to get the hair off of him, and it's a real process when it's that knotted up, trying to get it off. It might have been about six pounds of hair. It wasn't all that long before he started gaining a little bit of trust. You know, he had to feel so much better getting all that hair off of him. Our vets on staff, they did x-rays, so that's when we realized the extent of the breaks in his pelvis. Pilgrim says, I'm headed to VSS for my surgery today, and thank you to everybody for their thoughts and prayers and donations. Once we felt like he was okay enough to actually leave the clinic is when he got to go to foster, which is good because then he starts to realize what it's like to be in an actual home. Do you like getting brush pilgrim? Rescue actually is awesome just to know that these guys are off the streets and they have nice, comfortable places. That's a fresh start for them to a good life. We owe it to them to give them the best life that we can. Like, comment, and subscribe.